we'll check our top stories in just a moment. But first, I want to get over to Danielle with a check of our actual the forecast. And Danielle, it's going to be a nice one out there. It's going to be good, Chris. Happy Thanksgiving to you and happy Thanksgiving, everybody. Temperatures in the 30s and 40s right now. 44 in the city of Boston. We've got 33, one of the colder spots in Norwood. 39 in Lawrence as you're heading out to those football games, those turkey trots uh, getting underway here. We've had sunshine breaking through some of the clouds. That trend will continue at times today. The clouds will win out, and other times the sun will be poking through. Rain, snow, and uh, actually some ice in between from Nebraska back up to Kansas and Iowa. For us, quiet weather. No issues today. Temperatures, despite the clouds, come into the 50s. So an above average day, 60 tomorrow, and it will be a dry end to the week. Turning cooler this weekend after a few early morning rain showers on Saturday. The rest of the weekend will be dry, Chris. Sounds good. Thank you very much, Danielle. We have some breaking news for you. We have an update actually right now on a deadly uh, violence near Fenway Park overnight. One person was killed. Three others now, police are saying, were shot at the Who's on First Bar. The moments after the shooting around 2 o'clock this morning are described as pure chaos. Partygoers were running from a private function as police, who happened to be patrolling in the area, tried to get inside. They found one person, a young man in his 20s, dead of a gunshot wound. Three other people who were shot are now at the hospital, but they are expected to survive. Checking out the top stories this morning, a kindergartner has to be tested for HIV, hepatitis, and other scary diseases after he was stuck by a needle as he and his classmates tried to clean up some leaves for a project they were working on. They were working on composting at Ellis Elementary in Roxbury when little Charlie was stuck. His mom says the school was too slow to respond. She's pulled her son out of school. The family is moving to another city. Three people are charged with buying items off shoplifters and selling them in two Boston area stores, according to authorities. The group would request items from shoplifters and then sell them at My Tan Fashion and Super 99 Plus stores in Chinatown. We will see you right back here at noontime for our next newscast. Until then, have a great Thanksgiving morning.